김장철이 왔어. 한번 해볼게. I'll give it a go. Yes. I'll give it a go actually is one of our expressions. I'll try it. You could say that, right, Cameron? Yeah, you could say that. But this I'll give it a go feels maybe lighter mm -hmm. that you're saying... I don't. I don't know if I have skills. I don't know if I have the mm -hmm. ability to do it. Mm -hmm. But okay, okay, why not? Okay, I'll, I'll give it a go. Yeah, it's that feeling of like, okay, I'll give it a go. Sure. Okay. How about if something makes sense? So if something makes sense, it it's reasonable or it's a good idea or like, oh, I can understand. Mm. Mm. Okay. It makes sense. All right, and we. Recently learned the expression chow down. Yes. We have this expression wolf down or wolf something down. Yes. So one is chow mm -hmm. and this one is wolf like nupte. Yeah. Yeah. But it's actually used as a verb. Right. Yeah. So it is very similar. It is that you are eating something and you're eating it very quickly. Yeah. Often very messily. Right. Like very, you have a very messy way of eating. Okay, very good. So these are the three expressions that we're going to cover today. Let's go ahead and listen to our power dialogue. Tim, you've lived in Korea for three years. Do you know how to make kimchi yet? No, but I eat so much of it that it would make sense for me to make my own. I know. You wolf it down every time we go out to eat. So you're interested in learning? If you're offering to teach me, I'll give it a go. Great. I'll bring the ingredients over to your apartment tomorrow. I guess that means I need to clean my place tonight. Please open your books to page 20. You can find our power dialogue with the title, It's Kimchi Season. I'll give it a go. Alice begins by saying, Tim, you've lived in Korea for three years. Do you know how to make kimchi yet? And then what does Tim say? No, but I eat so much of it that it would make sense for me to make my own. Okay, so Tim loves kimchi. Mm -hmm. And he's like, oh, it would make sense for me to make my own. So, oh, it would make sense if I should try making it. Yeah. Yeah. So if something makes sense. So to make sense means that it's understandable. You mm -hmm. can understand the reason why. So if Tim is eating so much kimchi, he's like, well, maybe I, maybe I should make it because I would eat it. Mm -hmm. You know, sometimes you do things, and then after you've done them, you don't ever use them, or right. you don't ever eat them, mm -hmm. but he already knows that he's going to be eating a lot of it. Right. So it's like, yeah, that sounds like a good idea. That's right. So, like, sometimes if you eat a certain kind of food mm -hmm. a lot, yeah, almost every day, mm -hmm. yeah, it would make sense for you to try making it at home. Yeah. If he eats a lot of kimchi, maybe, oh, he'd have a what? great nickname. What? They call him Timchi. <laughs> Kimchi with the kimchi. Yeah. Because his name is Tim. Because his name is Tim. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> Call me Tim Chi. Call okay. Tim Chi. Alice says, I know. You wolf it down every time we go out to eat. So you're interested in learning? So if you wolf down the kimchi, mm -hmm. how are you eating the kimchi? You're eating it <clears throat> as if you are a wolf. Right. That's exactly it. If you ever watched a documentary Wolves just, like, eat it whole. And they rip it apart. They rip it apart. Uh -huh, they uh -huh. go after it. So maybe he's not, like, eating it in a messy way. Uh -huh. But it could almost feel like he's eating so much and so fast. Uh -huh. He's not even chewing. Right. He's just swallowing it whole. Right. That is the idea. <laughs> does your, your dog, mm -hmm. Scotty, oh. does he wolf down his food? Absolutely. Mm. He can't get enough. Because he's a terrier. And, like, yes. terriers are known for Oof. having a lot of uh, big appetite, Big right? appetite. So, like, uh, even if he were full, you know, I don't understand mm -hmm. other dogs. Oh, my dog's not eating. He doesn't like to eat. <laughs> That's my dog. I, I don't understand. Uh. Because... Our dog, my dog, is just all about eating. <laughs> always, always in search. He's like mm. hunting. He's a hunting dog. Uh, yeah. So he's hunting for food constantly. Uh, yes, yes. Okay, so Tim says, if you're offering to teach me, I'll give it a go. So when Alice says, hey, you want to learn? And Tim is saying, hey, 
Well, if you want to teach me, I'll、mm-hmm. give it a go. Yes,、mm-hmm. I'll give it a go means yeah, I'll try to do something. Uh huh. And there is the feeling of yeah, I'll do it. We'll see what the result is. Right. It could be good. It could be bad. Right. But I'll try. Yes. So it's like you've never thought of doing it before.、Mm-hmm. You've never done it before. So it's like yeah, I'll give it a go. Yeah. Yeah. It won't hurt. See what it's like. Okay. Sure. All right. What does Alice say? Great. I'll bring the ingredients over to your apartment tomorrow. Okay. Ingredients is our power vocab,、mm-hmm. and the spelling is I N G R E D I E N T S. Ingredients. Yes. This is a good word to know. Yeah.、Mm. So ingredients. This is your tero, right?、Mm. But I think sometimes Korean learners of English get confused between ingredients、mm-hmm. and materials. Ah. Right. Because the tero can mean both of those, right? Right. So if you say ingredients,、mm-hmm. we are talking about food. Right. Right. right? So you put. You combine ingredients to make food, to、mm. make a dish. Right. You do not combine materials to make、mm, a dish. No. Right. And this is a good word to know when you're in the states or abroad. It will have actually in big. Bold letters like、mm-hmm. ingredients, and then tell you everything that's in the food. Right.、Mm. On the the opposite end, if、mm. you're buying non food items.、Mm. That might also on the tag in、mm. Korean say like tejo or whatever. Yes, material.、Uh, yeah, it would be materials.、Yeah. You would not see ingredients. That's right. Cotton.、Okay. <laughs> That would be a little weird. That's a good point. Yeah. And what does Tim say? I guess that means I need to clean my place tonight. Okay. Our power pattern is. <clears throat> I guess that means. Yeah. Huh. What does that mean? Yeah.、Uh. So here, this is a very, very natural reaction. Alice says, "Okay,、mm. I'm bringing the ingredients to your apartment tomorrow.、Mm, I'm coming. Let's get ready."、Mm. And so Tim's just like, "Well, well, well okay. Oh, I, you, we're doing this. It's like he didn't originally plan for this, but、right. it has been decided. Right. So because it's been decided, I guess that means I've got to clean my place. Okay. I. It's kind of like when you." Now have a responsibility put on you、mm-hmm. that maybe you weren't expecting. The plan, some plan was made, and now it's like, huh? Okay, I guess I, I'm following a plan now. <laughs> okay, so you weren't planning on it, but the other person has planned it. Yeah, the other person, or maybe the situation、right. changes, and so you're like, oh. I guess I have to do this. Okay, we're we're doing this. Okay, all right, all right. <laughs> Let's go ahead and listen to that one more time. Tim, you've lived in Korea for three years. Do you know how to make kimchi yet? No, but I eat so much of it that it would make sense for me to make my own. I know. You wolf it down every time we go out to eat. So you're interested in learning? If you're offering to teach me, I'll give it a go. Great. I'll bring the ingredients over to your apartment tomorrow. I guess that means I need to clean my place tonight. It's time for Power Note. We're on pages twenty-two and twenty-three. If something makes sense, hmm, it seems like a good idea.、Mm. Okay, it doesn't make sense to switch majors halfway through school.、Uh, there's a typo here. There's a question mark, but it should end with a period.、Mm-hmm. Okay. And then I respond with, "It will only add one more semester to my time in university." Okay, so you're in college, and then you decide to change majors. Yes. And so I'm saying it doesn't make sense. It's not reasonable. Yeah, it's not a good idea. Yeah, not a good idea. Why would you do that? Right. It doesn't make sense. It makes sense to buy extra groceries before a snowstorm. It's a good idea. It's a good idea. So if you have a snowstorm,、yeah. you can't leave your house.、Mm-hmm. So you need to make sure to have everything you need to stay inside for a few days. Yeah.、Um, sometimes it could also just be like, "Oh, that sounds right."、Mm-hmm. Like that makes sense. Oftentimes we say this when someone is giving an argument and they're like, "Well, I'm doing this because you know, blah 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 blah."、Mm-hmm. And the other person says, "Oh, okay, yeah, that makes sense. Yes, I see why you're doing that."、Mm-hmm. So instead of Focusing so much on good idea, it's kind of like yes, that sounds right. Right. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So this makes sense or doesn't make sense. We can often use this for like 
financial planning, mm -hmm. like your when you're thinking about how you should use money. Yeah. Does it make sense to take out a loan or not? Oh. You know, sometimes depending on the interest rate. Mm -hmm. Is it good to take out a loan so you can get a better house mm -hmm. or a better car? Right. Or is uh, it more money than maybe you should be borrowing? Oof, so, that's a good question. Yeah, sometimes loans mm -hmm. make sense. Yeah. Sometimes loans don't make sense. They so, aren't a good deal. That's right. They aren't a good idea to have. So, and sometimes too, you can also say this when a person is behaving in a certain way and it just doesn't make sense. Yeah. Like, I don't understand it. He, he says he loves me, but he pushed me down on the playground. It doesn't make sense. <laughs> you know, it's that, it's that very common, like, the boy, like, the little boy likes the little girl. Yeah. And so the little boy, like, picks on the girl. Right. And she's like, oh, it's he because the he opposite. loves you. Yeah, yeah, he does the opposite. Right. It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense. Why? It's not reasonable. Yeah. Okay. Wolf something down means to eat something very quickly. Mm -hmm. Please, eat slowly. You don't need to always wolf down your dinner like that. I have a lot of homework to do, so I'm in a hurry. Oh, it's like I say this to my son all the time. Would you not wolf down your food? Mm. Like, can you chew your food? I have to say, mm. and I think because especially Korean men, yeah. they have to go like to the, military, to the military. And I'm told that their meal times are very short. That's what I heard. They pick up this habit of wolfing down their food. Yeah, in the military. When I eat with Korean <laughs> so men, women, like the women yeah. are, it's I don't. It's a little bit better. They, yeah. yeah. But they always complain that I eat so slowly. I know, I know. This one time, I went to eat murue uh -huh. with a friend of mine. Yeah. A, a guy friend. Yeah. And I, there was like this tuenjang jjigae that came out. Yeah. So I was like eating the tuenjang jjigae first. Yeah, sure. And then I went to get the, the murue that we were sharing. Yeah, okay. It was like we were sharing the murue. And it was gone? There was no hue. <laughs> he had eaten all of the fish in the murue. <laughs> Like, I was just taking my time, just eating my own food, and then by the time I decided to get to the murwe... There's no way! There was no way. It was just the mul. Just mul. Yeah. Okay. Was, um, this is good to know it's because... It's true. So now, when I'm with that friend... Yeah. I always wolf down my food. Okay, very good. To, to make Lesson, sure I get what I have. <laughs> Lesson learned. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the lunch bell rang, so we wolfed down the rest of our food and ran to class. Yeah. Uh, so it, it it does give you the sense that you eat in a hurry. Mm, yeah. Yeah, it's never used. Well, I say that. Mm. Most often not used in a good way. Yeah. But... I have heard, for example, my mom, mm -hmm. maybe we're, we need to go somewhere. Yeah. We need to go quickly. Yeah. She'd say, that, hey, wolf down your food. We got to go. Okay. Got like, it. Like, it's like, quickly. hurry up and eat. Yes. Get it down. Because we need to go. Yes. Okay. Very good. All right. Give it a go means to try something for the first time. And there's a lightness to it. Mm. It's not like you need to commit to it. It's like, okay, we'll give it a go. Uh, would you like to try windsurfing with me tomorrow? It looks pretty hard, but I'll give it a go. Okay. Oh, you want to try surfing? Yeah, okay. <laughs> okay, I'll give it a go. Yeah, give it a go uh, means you have no expectation for the result, really. Yeah. Right? I never fixed a washing machine before, but I gave it a go. <laughs> wow, that is, that's confidence. Well, there are, I tell you, uh, I actually did this. Uh, there was something like the toilet. There was something wrong, and I it was not such a big problem. Mm. And so, like, I actually checked on YouTube, uh -huh. and then, you know, they had these tutorials, mm -hmm. and then um, I actually fixed it. Look at you. I know. I you gave just, it a go. You gave it a go. And I did it. Didn't call a handyman. Yeah, because they can be expensive. It's true. Yeah. That is true. Oftentimes, I feel for some things, we're not paying for the work done. Yeah. We're paying for the knowledge. Yeah. Right? Right. Like, right. The, the, the actual mm. thing might be very simple, simple. to fix, mm. but if you don't know what to do... Then you got to pay. Yeah. Okay. Power pattern. I guess that means, which is like, okay... I wasn't expecting that, mm. but I guess I have to do this. Okay. I guess that means we won't be leaving today. Oh, our plane got canceled. Guess that means we won't be leaving okay. today. I guess that means I didn't get the job. 
Yeah. Oh, I heard a, I saw a news article. They hired someone else. Yeah, so with a I CEO guess. CEO position. Mm -hmm. It's like a conclusion that you reach. Right. It's a conclusion. Mm. It's often, it can be unexpected, or right. unplanned, or just, oh, well, they didn't tell me anything. Okay. All right. I guess that means. Okay. So. All right. Ingredient is a very important word to know. Don't get it confused with the word material. In Korean, it's chedyo, mm -hmm. but it's a little bit different in English. Yes. Okay. Do check out the definition on page 24, and what else should we do? Two things. Yeah. First, go to Audio Hakdang and for a small monthly fee, yes. you can listen to this show, you can listen to other shows by EBS. Yeah. And what is the second thing? Thing number two. If you haven't gotten the book yet, oh yeah. Please go to your local bookstore. Yes. Or online, uh, where you can sign up for a twelve month subscription. Get a discount. Yes. And uh, you know, absolutely. Get the books. Okay, yeah. very good. And actually third thing. Their thing is uh, come and listen to Evening Special at 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> great. Those are all great things to do. All right. Many things to do. Yes, Have yes. a great day, everyone, and see you next time. Bye-bye.